friends. Today, we're going to read a book called On Kiki's Reef. We're learning about habitats and where things live. So Kiki is a turtle and Kiki lives in the ocean by a coral reef. Hmm. I wonder who else lives there too. Let's find out, friends. A baby green sea turtle pops her head out of the sand. It's Kiki, she shouted. She had just hatched, hatched from her egg buried deep below. Kiki scrambles across the beach with her brothers and sisters. Birds try pecking at them. Crabs try to grab them. Some never make it to the water. Kiki does though. Look at Kiki, she's going into the water. She's probably gonna go find where she's supposed to live in the water. The mommies hatch the eggs in the sand and then they leave. So then when the babies come out, they go in the water themselves. Surf and spray carry Kiki away. She paddles wildly. The wild open ocean is a big place for a little turtle. She searches for food and hides from the big fish that would swallow her in one bite. Kiki is smart and brave. They have to be, otherwise they would get hurt and they wouldn't make it. Kiki paddles her helter-skelter, beds of seaweed giving her shelter. So she's using the seaweed for shelter. After surviving the open ocean for six birthdays, Kiki is larger. Her flippers are stronger. She's big enough to search for a new home. Closer to the shore, colors and shapes swirl beneath her in the shallow water. In the water down below, a rainbow of corals put on a show. See all the different corals underneath her? I see orange and green and pink. They look so pretty. It's a coral reef. Corals look like plants, but they're not. They're animals but they're not like any animal Kiki has seen before. Some look like fans, others look like tubes. One coral looks like a brain. Year after year, their hard skeletons build up to make a giant reef and a magical underground or underwater island. Kiki explores. Kiki's birthday come and go. Kiki's body grows and grows. All the while, she watches the usual creatures living on the reef. So Kiki is getting older and older. Zig, zing, dash in, dart out. A clownfish snuggles into the dangerous tentacles of an enemy. Will it get hurt? Oh, do you think, friends? No, the clownfish wears a slimy coat to protect it from the anemone's painful stings. So some fish can't live there or touch them, but the clownfish can. Every clownfish has its own anemone and these two are the perfect partners. In and out and all around, lots of teamwork can be found. Kiki discovers some partners for herself, a gang of tangs. The tangs get a free lunch by eating the algae growing on Kiki's shell. And with a clean, smooth shell, Kiki glides through the water with ease. So the tangs help Kiki by cleaning her shell. Nearby wrasses and expert cleaners too, Kiki watches them do a wiggly dance that announces our cleaning station is open. A grouper swims up to be the first customer. When the grouper opens wide, then a wrasse can clean inside. Do you see the fish? It's opening its mouth so the other fish can clean its mouth. It's like its toothbrush. Ooh. Would you want to open your mouth so a fish can clean your teeth? Ew, I wouldn't. That sounds very gross. Not all open mouths on the reef are friendly. The razor sharp teeth of a giant barracuda are deadly for many reef fish. <gasps> Kiki isn't afraid. She's too big for the barracuda. 
but she's not too big for an approaching tiger shark. Watch out, Kiki. Watch out for that tiger shark. Kiki knows so very well a shark's strong jaws can crack her shell, so she has to get away from the shark. <sighs> Sharks are scary. Kiki makes a quick getaway through the grass. When the shark is gone, she'll return to the reef. Meanwhile, a seahorse uses a different strategy to stay safe from the predators called camouflage. That means that her skin is the same color as her surroundings. So see the grass? The seahorse has the same color of skin. The hidden seahorse takes first prize for wearing the best underwater disguise. So the, her predators can't see her. Back home on the reef, Kiki hears crunch, crunch, crunch. It's the sound of the sharp teeth of a parrotfish scraping the hard coral for food. So you see the parrotfish? It's scraping and eating off the, the coral. That's how they get their food. So each of these animals need different things to survive. While Kiki snoozes, nighttime creatures slither and crawl from their hiding places. Who do you see? I see an octopus. A hungry octopus hunts for his dinner. Who will it be? What do you think he's going to eat? <gasps> will he eat you? No, because you're not in the water. Uh, do you think he'll eat a shrimp or a snail or a crab? Whatever eight long, long arms can grab, that's what he'll eat. So if he sees some shrimp, he'll eat the shrimp. If he sees a crab, he'll eat the crab. Kiki's happily at home on her coral reef. She knows all of the plants and animals, and they all know her and her gentle ways. When a stranger arrives, curious Kiki swims over to investigate. Hmm, who's that stranger? Oh, it's a human. It's a scuba diver. A scuba diver goes down in, in the water deep, but they have a tank on with air so they could breathe. A diver visits this magical place and meets a turtle face to face. You see the diver there? That would be fun to go dive in the ocean to see all the sea life. Then one day Kiki feels different inside. Somehow, she knows it's time to return to her first home, the beach, the seashore. She's going to head over to the seashore. What do you think she's going to do there, friends? She takes off on a journey of hundreds of miles. Along the way, a fishing boat pulls a net through the water. Kiki can't get out of the way in time. She gets caught. Oh, no, she's in the net. Do you think she's going to get stuck? Escaping through the net's trap door. Lucky Kiki, she got away. Whew, that was a close one. In the middle of the night, Kiki hauls her heavy body across the same beach where she was born. Using her back flippers like a shovel, she digs deep, a deep nest, and lays a hundred eggs. <gasps> She's gonna have babies. They'll hatch into baby green sea turtles, just like she did so many years ago. Carefully covering the eggs, Kiki's work is done. She drags herself back into the sea and silently swims away in the moonlight. So she went to the seashore to have babies. She went and she laid all those eggs there. Along the coast and through the foam, Kiki returns to her reef home. So Kiki went back into the water and then the same thing will happen again friends. All the babies will go into the water just like Kiki did. Okay friends, thanks for listening to our book about the habitat, the ocean habitat and all the ocean animals you might see in the water. Okay friends, until next time, bye! Thank you.